Hi guys, this is Talia from Talia Fitness and welcome to day two of my Back on Track Challenge where we realign our actions and our lifestyles to the path that will lead us to the success of our goals. Now yesterday I asked you to write down your priorities. Now that you've had a bit of time to think about it, have a think about whether your priorities are your actual priorities or are they somebody else's priorities? Are you doing in your daily life and prioritizing what you think you should be prioritizing or what other people and society say you should? Or is this really your priorities and where you want to spend all of your time and your energy? I want you to focus when we set the goals today on the things that you want out of your life because when you're doing what you want, you're going to be more happy than when you're doing what somebody else wants you to do. But today is all about goal setting. I'm going to ask you to set goals in four different areas and I'm going to ask you to write three plan of attack steps for your action plan to make sure that you meet those goals. Cool. So the different areas are number one, physical. I want you to set a physical goal for yourself. Now this might be something like losing weight and I want you to set, if you that's your goal, I want you to set a specific uh, number to that or it might be a skill so you might want to run five kilometers or ten kilometers in 50 minutes. Whatever it is, write it down. The second area is your nutrition. So for me, this one is that I want to eat less sugar but it might be you want to eat more of something else or you want to drink less of something or you want to drink more of something or something like that. <laughs> the third one is your relations, relationships. So this might be that you want to listen more or you want to spend more quality time with your kids or with your husband or with your friends or maybe it's something to do with repairing a relationship with somebody. And the last area is financial. I want you to set a goal that reflects your money. Maybe that is a figure that you want to save. Maybe it is you want to spend less on this something. Or maybe it's even you want to give more of your money or more of your time, which effectively is your money to a charity or to someone or to something. When you've listed out your goals, I want you to then set three steps to make sure that these happen. Just underneath. Now I've created a little worksheet for you. If you'd like to use it, you can download it from Talia Fitness or it's on my Facebook page. So just download that and it'll take you through um, really easy steps to, to writing that all down. Uh, now, of course, I've only put four spots in there, but if you have more goals for physical, if you've got more goals for financial, of course, write down as many as you like. There's no limit to how many goals you like to have. You just have to make sure that they're smart, that they're specific, that your goals are measurable, that they're achievable, that they're relevant, and that they're time-bound. And I think this is the most important one. You want to put a time on it so that those steps become measurable, that you can see, yes, I've done it, or no, I haven't done it. If I'm not on my way to achieving it, what can I do to get there? So go ahead, write out your goals in those four areas and your action plan, and then I want you to spend 30 minutes exercising. Maybe go for a run, go for a swim, go for a walk, go for a bike ride, do something, and really spend that alone time thinking about what you've just committed yourself to doing for the next six months. I feel like when you exercise, you get clarity within your mind and ideas start flowing. If you find anything comes up during that time of exercise, make sure when you get home you write it down and it'll really help you get everything in line. Anyway, have fun and I'll see you tomorrow.